Hi kiddos, welcome back to school. I'm so glad that you're here and I hope you had a good summer. I had a great summer and I'm looking forward to this semester. I'm one of your math teachers. My name is Mrs. Croft and I am a second grade teacher. By the way, welcome to second grade at Early College Prep at Loman Hill. I'm really excited to teach you this semester, so let's jump right in. We're gonna start with module one and module one is about adding and subtracting all the way up to 100. You dealt a lot with tens in first grade, so we're gonna bump it up just a little bit. So, Mod 1 Lesson 1 starts with this. We're gonna to learn to make and add it to a 10, okay? So you're gonna know that you can do this when you can take a number and add it to make 10 as your target number. And also, you're gonna subtract from 10 and find the missing number. So let's go. Our vocabulary, the first word is wreck and wreck. It's this tool over here, and it's made of beads, and it's used for counting. We also have a 10 frame, a set of 10 boxes in pairs of five that make counting much easier. You will see and you will love your 10 frame. We also have a number bond, which is a three part set of numbers that are all related, kind of like a fact family. Okay, so let's do some fluency. When I say up, you're going to go up. And when I point down with my thumb, you're going to go down. And if I go like this, you're going to stop. Okay, so we're going to go with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, S not seven, <laughs> four, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. <laughs> we'll do a ton of happy counting this year and it is super fun and it gets really wild and crazy and we go clear up to a hundred. So this is wreck and wreck counting. If I slide this whole thing over, there are 10 beads and they're colored five yellow and five red to help you. So I want you to do it what we call the say 10 way. So this is 10. And when we put one more, it would be 10, one, 10, two. So count with me, 10, three, 10, four, 10, five. See how the five are yellow? What's this one gonna be? That's right, 10, six, 10, seven, 10, eight, 10, nine. Now do we say 10, 10? Or how much is two tens? Let's count, 10, 20, that's right. So we would just say 20 or two tens. You could say that too. We'll use the wreck and wreck a whole lot. And I have a huge one in my classroom that goes all the way up to a hundred. So you will probably see that in the lessons to come. All right, this is a number bond. Up at the top, you have your whole and down here are your parts. So if I'm going for 10 and I see four, I'm wondering what is the number that's missing to make the 10? So let's count up from four to 10. Four in your head, and then we say five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I have six fingers up, so guess what my number is? That's right, it's six. Awesome, we're gonna do a lot of these. Here's 10 and eight. Hmm, how many more can we count up from eight to make 10? Can you guess? That's right, it's two. Oh my goodness, you are so good at math. Here's one, 10 and one. Now we could count up, but we can also count down. So what if we had 10 and we took that one away? How many would we have then? That's it, yep, you're right, it's nine. So one plus nine equals 10. Or if we didn't see the 10, we could say 10, I mean the nine, we would say 10 minus one equals this nine. So a fact family or a number bond all goes together to uh, relate to each other. It's pretty super cool, depending on which direction you go. Okay, you see a hole and the part, what's the missing part? Can you guess? You're right, it's a three because three plus seven is 10 or seven, eight, nine, 10. Use your fingers, these are called digits. They are used for counting. That's what we've been given them for. So don't hesitate to use your fingers. And if you're embarrassed, put them under your desk. I do it too and I'm the teacher, so it's okay. All right, now we're gonna do that say 10 way. We're gonna say the addition sentences 
for a number added to 10. So we're going to take 10 and we're going to add a number to it to make a teeny number, okay? So if I say 10, 2, you're going to say, oh, that's 10 plus 2 and it's 12. So let's try 13. If I say 13, you would say 10, 3 or 10 plus 3 equals 13. Okay, let's do a few together. 10, 6. You would say 10 plus 6 equals 16. Very good. Let's skip over here. 10, 3. 10 plus 3 equals 13. That's right. Good job. 18 is 10 and 8. So you would say 10, 8 or 10 plus 8 equals 18. Great. You're on a roll. 14 is 10, 4. 10 plus 4 equals 14. Do you see the pattern here? It's always the 10 and some ones. 10, 5. Say it. Yeah, 10 plus 5 equals 15. 11. Ooh, this one's tricky because it doesn't say 5 or 6 or 3. So 10 or 1. Yeah, 10, 1. So 10 plus 1 equals 11. You're doing wonderful. 10, 8 is 10 plus 8 equals 18. Man, you're great at say 10. We'll do that a lot. Here's a fun game you can play with your parent at home. You can draw these circles and make the top one a target. Get a die. One person rolls the die and writes the number in the rolled part right here, okay? So yours is the part, okay? Pick a target number. I would say do 10 because we're making 10. And then partner B makes a bullseye by writing the number that's missing. So you'll only roll your die once and fill in one side of the of the part and then your partner will fill in and then switch. Your partner can roll and then you can fill it in. Target practice is super fun. Here's some other activities. These are on uh, Math Playground and CoolMath.com. All you have to do is search Make 10. Okay, there's a lot of them. This one looks like Bubble Pop and there's Bonds to 10 and there's a Planet 1 to 10 and this is a super cool video. It's Friends of 10 Time, Let's Go. So you can search on YouTube, watch the video, be encouraged and uh, have some fun. I'm really glad that you joined me today and I am excited to see you next time. I hope you liked the lesson. Have a good day.